Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. This is Michael FX Freedom broadcasting you on YouTube. This is the foundation course called the Forex Trading Course. How is the sound? Sound looks like okay. Is there a uh, maybe this one? No. Echo. Everybody, sound check. Sound check. Is the sound okay? Type in the chat if you can hear my voice with no echo and see my screen. Anyway, remember, trading is a learnable skill when we learn in the correct way the three pillars of the Forex Course 101. Pillar number one is the market. We've worked hard, almost eight months, nine months, learning about how the market works. Pillar number two is the strategy. We've been working hard on the strategy for the last couple of weeks. And the big one, it's called you the trader <laughs> all right more about the trader everybody in the advanced course and talking about the advanced course remember in two weeks we have the black friday so if you want to take advantage of the black friday we are giving you 50 percent discount on the advanced course not mandatory if you want Moving forward, you are going to graduate from this course when number one, you have your chart set up and ready for trading. Number two, you have a strategy in place. You understand why you win, why you lose. No, you don't need to be constantly profitable. Hello, LSLS, how are you? Number three, you have a complete understanding on how this market works so you can analyze the market and make an educated prediction, long or short for the week. You can follow us on youtube.com slash c slash fxfreedomfx They are there inventing some kind of handles YouTube So I need to check how this works everybody Remember 90% of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide Yes sir, still today And the webinars or streams are not trading or investment advice The streams are for educational purposes only Remember, if your way is not working, why don't you try mine? And for homeworks and questions, you have my Gmail contact, my Skype contact, and you can follow me on TradingView. That being said, everybody, simple news trading strategy. And so, today, what is going to happen today? Today, it's Wednesday. And let me refresh, forexfactory.com is the website, we are following the news. So everybody at 3 p.m. Brazilian time, this is Brazil, okay, Brazile, this is Brazil everybody, 3 p.m. We are going to have the federal funds rate, okay. So the U.S. government most likely is going to hike the interest rate, so we want to kind of trade this okay and we are going to use what is called the simple trading strategy okay so let's get to it and simple trading simple news trading we're talking about the news simple news trading strategy strategy also called the straddle okay simple new trading strategy okay here are the rules number one number one two hours before the news find all the currencies on the two hour chart that are in consolidation for a minimum of two hours two hour chart typo four hours okay everybody so this would be number one two hours you can do it before but two hours before the news find all the currencies on the two hour chart that are in consolidation for a minimum four hours so for a minimum four down here four 
for a minimum of four hours. Okay, everybody? So we are now it's midday here in Brazil. In three hours, we have the, no, the FOMC, so it's the news. Now, find all the currencies that are in news, find all the currencies, not clear, right? So, two hours before the news, find all the currencies relevant to the news event relevant to the news event better yes better on the two hour chart that are in consolidation for a minimum of two hours so the news is about what type in the chat everybody if you understand what we're talking about do we have a news about the US dollar do we have the news about the euro do we have the news about AUD or NZD what is the news about and then we are going to clone chart and clone chart and clone chart one two three one two three four clone chart one two three four five most likely right okay clone chart and we are going to do something like this on the side better right on the side and here clone chart on the side and something come on something like this and there you go Frank Frank I'm sorry I don't know how to pronounce your name but yes dollar Frank on V Frank on V can I call you Frank sorry everybody if I not I don't pronounce your name correctly yes you are US dollar correctly so and we're on the two hour chart right so we need to find consolidation okay now we are on euro dollar now here here you click you you put USD and all the USD pairs Bitcoin no so no no exotics everybody USD JPY absolutely yes next one USD, USD CHF, absolutely yes. In here, USD, USD CAD, absolutely yes. USD, USD CHF, we have it. NZD, USD, absolutely yes. USD, GBP, USD, absolutely yes. Uh, clone chart, let me see if we have more. USD, USD, so Bitcoin no, ZAR no, JPY we have it, CHF we have it, Canada we have it, NZD, USD we have it, GBP, USD we have it, Euro we have it, oh, AUD, USD, right? AUD, USD. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven currency pairs that are related to the US dollar type in the chat this is clear or type in the chat no this is not clear I'm I, I don't have a clue what you're talking about everybody we are here to learn some of you are new to the channel there is no shame if you don't understand what we are doing type in the chat no it's not clear otherwise type in the chat yes it's clear All clear boss okay very good so we have dollar okay let's go one by one one by one right euro USD would you say that would you say everybody that euro dollar on the two hour chart is in consolidation yes or no what would you say there is no right or wrong we're just talking about sharing ideas would you say that euro dollar is in consolidation everybody Don't be shy, there is no right or wrong. What do you think? 
it should be in consolidation for at the minimum four hours so if every candle is two hours the market should be in consolidation for a minimum of four hours but is this market called euro dollar currency pair is this market in consolidation is it sideways is it making equal highs equal lows or it's not making equal highs equal lows so in here you know this was the market just an example this would be an example of consolidation right equal highs equal lows what about what is happening right now Frango no exactly congratulations to you no it's not so let's focus on the USD JPY let's zoom in the chart what about USD JPY? What would you say? Is USD JPY kind of, you know, maybe making equal lows, equal highs for a minimum, you know, for a minimum of four hours? Just maybe, right? Kind of. Somebody is asking, do we need to check all of them? Answer is yes. We are trying to find the currency pairs related to the news event and are in consolidation. So this was Euro Dollar and USD JPY. You know, and we can check, we can check, we can check USDCHF. And as you can see, USDCHF is positioned differently, right? USDCHF, it kind of, it was in consolidation, right? This is a two-hour chart. And then it went up and it's back up. Frango says, no, it's trending. And my dogs agree with you, everybody. You know, so... Euro dollar, we are going to do something like this everybody, Euro dollar, we are going to do red, red, red and <laughs> red, so it's not readable, USDJPY we are going to leave it, you know, USDCHF not readable, it went out of consolidation, okay, so no consolidation in here, USD CAD, what about USD CAD? Let's see USD CAD. And again, USD CAD was in consolidation, everybody. So here was the consolidation, and here was the consolidation. USD, USD JPY, no trend. Well, we're going to see, right? But here the market went out of consolidation. USD JPY, it's for the last two candles, right? It's a minimum of four hours. Okay. Frango and everybody else. Okay, we are not talking about everything. We are talking about just the those two, right? It could be more, but a minimum. So on the two hour chart of the market, it's not trending. Okay. USDJPY, yes, it's trending as a pair, but on the two hour chart, it's kind of sideways not the best option I agree but still compared to the other ones okay NZD USD NZD USD let's zoom in NZD USD maybe you know just maybe NZD USD if this would be the floor of consolidation and this would be the ceiling you know kind of maybe this would be an option and GBP USD, everybody, let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. It's difficult, right? Not not the not the best one. So it kind of this would be the market, and this would be the market. But inside, you know, it's not in small consolidation. You know, 
but why are we doing this? We are trying to select everybody the pair that make the that makes the most sense to you. Hello Julius, how are you? And lastly, AUDUSD. Are we maybe just maybe in some consolidation sideways movement? So this would be maybe, but then the market went up and this was the ceiling right so and the market is falling so if the market comes down to here and goes back up but we have three hours uh, before the news event right okay so euro dollar it's not usd chf it's not i'm going to close it usd cat it's not went out of consolidation i'm going to close it GPUSD, let's do it something like this everybody, AUDUSD on the 2 hour chart, not sure, GBPUSD kind of, it was in consolidation but now it's breaking out, right, so it's not in consolidation, NZD, NZD so GBPUSD out, AUDUSD, let me see which one was is better, right, are those two showing the same or are they slightly different? NZD USD high to low to low to high and falling down. This would be kind of here, right? Okay, so out and choose everybody, choose one, choose USD JPY or NZD USD. Which one do I prefer? None of them is perfect to see like a clear consolidation. But just of the, for the purpose of this exercise. Okay, no euro it's not, not in consolidation. And in, in when I'm waiting for an answer everybody, choose one where is the text okay so two hours before the news event find the currencies relevant to the news event on the two hour chart f that are in consolidation for a minimum of four hours so this was number one this was number one okay number two after after deciding deceiving after deciding which currency pairs to trade go to the 15 minute chart and draw consolidation there okay so this is number it's here this is the chart down in here simple news trading strategy called the straddle two hours before the news event find all the currencies relevant to the news event on the two hour chart that are in consolidation for a minimum of four hours could be more after deciding which currency pair to trade go to the 15 minute chart and draw consolidation there and julius says well nzd usd okay so we are going to go now on nzd usd on the 15 minute chart boss why the 15 minute chart answer because this is the rule <laughs> makes sense everybody this is the rule so now you are seeing the consolidation is the same consolidation okay on the 15 minute chart today we are not lucky everybody but sometimes before the news event this would be the this would be the perfect textbook example of the consolidation before the big news announcement this is the this is the price section that we are looking to find okay we are not that lucky today and we are still okay but we we are monitoring so this this is going to be the consolidation on NZD USD okay Julius says NZD USD it could be just for us to see right it could be USD JPY too. Let's go on the 15 minute chart. 15 minute chart. See everybody, 15 minute chart. 
again not the best right but the market is kind of locked you know inside those two agreed everybody you know okay so this would be USD JPY and this would be NZD USD Julius are you still sure about NZD USD There is no right or wrong, everybody. This is something that you are going to backtest. Okay, one. So simple news trading strategy called the straddle. One is here, two is here. Number three. Number three. Okay, number three. One hour before the news event. Check if the pair is still in consolidation on the 15 minute chart why is that because in between everybody the market can change make sense so so you are starting on the 2 hour chart and you go on the 15 minute chart and you have 3 hours until the news event you need to get back and check okay so today and the USD is this pair still inside the bands because if it's not the straddle you cannot straddle the market make sense and me personally I prefer USD JPY because the consolidation is smaller so one hour before the FOMC news announcement I'm going to check and see okay is the market still inside those two bands and if it's not for any reason then I cannot straddle okay this is the reason be behind why one hour before one hour before the news event check if the pair is still in consolidation on the 15 minute chart okay number four number four if yes if yes then put the stop loss order and the buy stop not the stop loss see how mine gets tricky not the stop loss but the buy, the buy stop and sell stop we are always <laughs> thinking about the stop loss put the sell stop you can laugh at me not a problem everybody happens a lot you know I'm just thinking about the sales the, the stop loss put the sell stop order and the buy stop order buy stop order on the chart and calculate the points in risk the points in risk the points the points how can you say this in English? Calculate the points. Calculate the risking points. The risk, risk in points. Okay. If yes, then put the sell stop order and the buy stop on the chart. Buy stop order on the chart and calculate the risk in points. So if this is Julius is asking now it must be NZD USD okay no problem so if this is Julius and me and we we say we said we decided okay it's going to be NZD USD we are looking at this chart you know one hour before the FOMC you know and the chart it could be in here or in here anyway it did not go it did not go out of the consolidation then we are going to put a buy stop order and the sell stop order so up in here we are going to have buy stop order up in here uh, typo buy stop order remember those are floating orders everybody buy stop order and clone down in here we are going to have a sell stop order buy stop sell stop okay 
why are the floating orders if the news announcements everybody comes out and does something like this the mark the the platform the broker is going to get you filled and you are in the market okay you are trading if the news event is going to do something like this and this and it's not going to break then you are going to stay out of the market or if the market breaks up your buy stop order is going to get filled and you are going to be buying the market okay now this is the straddle the stop loss the stop loss let's change colors the stop loss of the buy equals equals the stop loss of the buy equals the entry of the sell order okay the stop loss of the buy buy where is the buy the buy is up in here this is your buy stop order okay what does this mean very slowly for the grandpa and the grandma today they want to trade the market welcome so if the market goes up news event and the broker feels you okay feels you in you're in the market you are buying NZD USD when this happens the market is I mean the broker is going to also activate the stop loss of this buy order okay and the stop loss of the buy is going to be down in here so the stop loss of the buy equals the type again type into fast of the entry of the entry of the sell order why is that so come on there you go buy we don't need this okay very good so if the market goes up and fills you in the buy but then it reverses everybody and goes down and goes down and hits or breaks the lower band of the consolidation what is going to happen then what do you think what is going to happen the market fills you with the buy then for any reason and it happens is going to change direction and is going to hit the lower band what is going to happen then with your buy order and your sell stop order exactly when this happens your buy order becomes a loser so you lost with the buy background color okay so the buy becomes a loss it's a loser it hit your stop loss because the stop loss of the buy equals to the entry of the sell and if the market continues everybody is going to fill you in with the sell and if the market continues and continues and continues you are going to make money with the sell order make sense and the same goes in reverse the same goes in reverse so if the stop loss of the buy order is the entry of the sell what do you think where is going to be the stop loss of the sell order so here and clone up in here the stop loss of the sell order equals the entry of the buy exactly one uh, congratulations to you somebody just typed one cancels the other everybody okay one cancels the other so different vocabulary maybe so 
the one cancels another one cancel cancels the other or the entry of one is the stop loss of the other feedback everybody is it too complicated so far feedback type in the chat too complicated or type in the chat yes I get it or okay no problem why are we doing this everybody we are doing this because of this so you have a consolidation right you have a consolidation like this this is the market in consolidation before the news announcement okay and if you don't have stop loss order so one more time one more time clone if you would have just a buy stop order and if you have just the sell stop order everybody with no stop loss if the market goes up just an example you know you enter in the market with the buy but then the the market goes down changes you know and fills you in with the sell are you going to make any money wow Julius yes I get it very good type in the chat everybody here is the question I want you to understand the logic behind why the entry of one is the stop loss of the other this is the logic behind if you have no stop loss levels if you just do buy stop and sell stop and something like this happens can you make any money yes or no mm -hmm. don't be shy we're here to learn freedom repeat the question yes sir if you straddle the news announcement like today FOMC federal funds rate and you put your you have the consolidation and you put your buy order something like this okay but no stop loss you put your buy stop order somewhere in here and you put your sell stop order somewhere in here you know but with no stop loss just buy stop and sell stop and the market fills you in in the buy reverses and fills you in also on the set on the sell stop and then it's falling can you make any money yes or no our captain is saying with the switch in times do we keep the program at 14 GMT which is a switch by one hour or just move it to 15 as we start today thank you very much 15 GMT 15 hours thank you very much okay everybody we're going to have streams at 3 p.m. GMT okay not 4 p.m. Uh, 3 p.m. Yeah, it's a mess, I know. Some countries, you know, have the change, you know. My country, one year, yes, we have a change, then, then no change, then there, <laughs> it's a mess there. Saying again, yes, we have this one. Thank you, Yanis. And everybody say hello to our manager. Our manager, our captain is here. He's a great guy. And Julius says no, thank you very much. It's you are not going to why? Because one is going to cancel the other. Your sell order is going to make money, but because you don't have a stop on the buy, the same as the sell is going to make you money, the buy is going to lose you money. Does this make sense to you? Exactly, very good. 
okay so if this is clear and we are here everybody if yes then put the sell stop order and the buy stop order on the chart and calculate the risk in points okay so we are here okay and now we are going to calculate risk in points what does this mean what is the risk in points everybody risk in points this means if the market fills you in and stop you out how much pips or pipettes we're talking about points you know not to get ahead you know one decimal point three decimal point. we're talking about just points how many points Julius says hello captain risking points okay so this is the difference difference between the buy stop order and the sell stop order risking points is the difference between the buy stop order and the sell stop order so something like this and something like this okay and so our buy stop equals to what's the number 0 0.58902 and our sell sell stop equals to 0 0.58309 okay this is the buy stop level the sell stop uh, and edit level so points points in risk points in risk equals to everybody we are going to use the calculator right there you go so it's without the zero and the comma it's five eight nine oh two minus five eight three oh nine equals to five nine three so it's five nine three okay buy stop 0 0.5 now wh why we need to calculate the points in risk because we need to calculate how much do we want to lose oh but I want I don't want to lose if the market is going to do something like this everybody then you are going to have one loser make sense your buy is going to be a loser but you are going to recover with the sell and give me a second everybody okay uh, okay two things can happen right behavior number one the market shoots up or down and it continues and it continues and it continues this is one this is what we want this is what we like this is what we love that the news event is so strong that it's going to pick one direction you know and it's going to make us money or yes sir or down right it can go with the opposite too okay so this is what we want and you've learned one of the cardinal rules in this course if you risk one one euro one dollar one yen whatever okay you want to make what two right agreed everybody this is why so now this is why we are going to calculate the risk if you are going to risk half percent or one percent to, to have an easier math Okay, one percent then you want to go after two but sometimes the market it's does the event is called the whiplash the market is going to go up and take you in it's going to go down and take you in and stop in here okay this is the so-called whiplash I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing correctly the, the, the expression but you know goes up you know fills on the buy goes downs or even even worse right 
this happens too with the news event it's go up takes you in on the buy goes down stops you on the buy fills you in the sell goes back up stops you on the sell too and then go back in between happens too so news events even though we still do news events carry a degree of risk and this simple news trading strategy is no recommendation for you to do this okay don't call me oh you 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 told me uh -uh. doesn't work like this you know we are here to learn okay we are telling you the streams are not trading advice what to do okay we are teaching you knowledge we're here to educate you so if you want to play around do this on the demo account 20 30 times before you think okay and see your emotions you know what are you going to do if this happens so 593 okay now just an example let's say that your account has ten thousand dollars boss but I don't have ten thousand if you come to the advanced course we are going to talk about incubation we are going to give you real funds to trade okay account ten thousand dollars so risk one percent now here we need to make a distinction do you want to risk one percent on the whole news trade or do you want to risk one percent per trade Hedge fund trader Julius, hedge fund trader Frango, what do you want to do? Do you want to risk 1% per trade or do you want to risk for the whole operation? What's the difference? If you want to risk 1% per trade, then you are going to risk 1% on the buy and you are going to risk 1% on the sell. Meaning if the market whiplashes, you are going to lose two percent buy stop order get stopped out sell stop order take you in and you get stopped out you are going to lose two but if you say okay I'm going to risk there is no there is no right or wrong it's your choice but if you say I'm going to risk one percent on the whole operation then you are going to cut you are going to cut your risk in half so you're going to you're going to rate not one percent per operate per trade but 0 0.5 half percent instead of one make sense everybody it's your decision there is no right or wrong somebody's asking on the other streaming platform freedom what do you do I'm trading the advanced news trading strategy which we're going to learn tomorrow but back in time I was trading half percent or even less okay this simple news trading strategy is simple but it's risky okay so let's say that I want to let's say that I want to risk just for the purpose of math okay let's say that I want to risk 1% with the buy and 1% with the sell okay so how much is 1% of 10,000? So risk is 1%, risk in percentage is 1% and risk in money equals 2, risk in money, risk in money equals 2, how much? This one is easy everybody. 10,000, 10% would be what? 1,000, so 1% 1 is 100, exactly, 100, right? 100, okay? Now, we are here, this is buy, stop, sell, stop, points and risk. Now we want to calculate we want to calculate the lots right the volume so calculate the risk in points number five number five calculate the lots meaning volume right metatrader four five you have volume j4x you have lots whatever 
calculate the lots, right? Or volume. This is what we're going to do right now. Yes, not a problem. Everybody, download this lesson from Dukascopy YouTube webinar channel. Okay. Rewatch it, pen and paper. Do your testing, back testing. Okay. So, and number five. So lots meaning the volume, right? Lots meaning the volume of the trade equals to money money divided risk in points in points okay or star star vice versa vice versa you need to double check okay so we are going to we are going to do and do it like this everybody okay don't complicate so it's money five nine not five nine this so it's one hundred divided five nine three equals to zero point seventeen right so it's zero point seventeen volume lots lots equals to zero point seventeen okay now I'm going to go on the uh, where is it hit? Let's put this in here. Okay, so I'm going to go in here and I'm on NZD USD. I'm going to enter by not the market by uh, where is by not stop loss take profit not the market bids. Okay, stop. You have here everybody. Okay, buy stop. It doesn't matter bid ask. It's not going to be that relevant. Okay and but anyway we're going to ask for i'm going to buy the market at what is the number here buy stop 0 0.058902 and my stop loss is here it's the sell stop so the stop loss of the other it's the entry i mean the stop loss of the one it's the entry of the other so stop loss is 0. 58309 submit submit okay now I'm going to go on the chart and I need to check okay is are my lots is my stop loss done you know so and CAD you know stop loss and I'm moving my mouse here on the order and it says that I'm going if I'm going to lose I'm going to lose just eight Canadian not sure about why Canadian but anyways eight Canadian dollars so I didn't do the math the lots I didn't calculate in the correct way agreed everybody so I need to redo the calculation redo the calculation so it's going to be risk in points divided the money, so it's 593 divided 100, 5.93. So lots 5.93, 5.93. Okay, and we are going to do the same. We are going to cancel the orders, delete cancel order okay and we are going to do the same again in here so it's oh thank you very much fair enough fair enough fair enough I forgot to put the f yes fair enough everybody 017 right one more time everybody yes I forgot to change in here okay so one more time see here amount lots 0.17 and it's going to be a stop order price 0 0.58902 and the stop loss is going to be the entry of the sell 0 0.58309 so it's 138 see, see here everybody okay so it's it's a little bit not sure why it's it's can cat but anyways you know this and if I don't want to lose more than a hundred 
and now I'm going to put here 16 and it's changing here see I'm changing the lots 1 to 1 14 and now 13 12 97 okay whoops 13 right oh come on 0 0 0.13 0 0.13 and submit submit orders and this is my entry by stop if the if I'm going to be stopped out I'm going to lose 100 dollars per trade per trade okay and exit so lastly you know after you calculate the lots so on the ten thousand dollar account if you would trade for real okay homework demo trade demo news trade if you want you can use these slots on a on a ten thousand demo account okay and here is the calculation you have already the numbers everybody if you want okay lastly lastly number six number six enter the buy stop and the sell stop orders into the platform into the trading platform five minutes before the news event this will be the last one event okay so recap you are going to see a news announcement everybody like this one you know federal funds rate is going to happen in about two hours Brazilian time here okay then you go and check all the currency pairs that have the US dollar as a currency in the currency pair and you are going to try to find consolidation once you find consolidations you are going to decide which currency pairs to trade okay Julius chose NZD USD then you go on the 15 minute chart and draw consolidation there let me see if we can do like this okay and draw consolidation there number three one hour before the news event check if the pair is still in consolidation on the 15 minute chart you are going to do the same number four if yes so you are doing one hour before you are doing this one hour before the news event everybody boss I'm scared you know heart palpitations you can do this two hours before not a problem number four put the sell stop order and the buy stop on the chart and calculate the risk in points okay so you're going to calculate how many points are between your buy stop and sell stop order and then you're going to calculate the lots the volume we calculated today that it was 0 0.17 if the if when you when you do the confirmation on the risk if the number it's wrong like oh it's you should look you should lose 100 but you're losing 3000 then do the calculation in reverse you know different pairs have different calculations okay but lastly six enter the buy stop and the sell stop order in the trading platform five minutes before the news event and no it's not 10 minutes before and it's not one minute before it's five minutes everybody why is this important sometimes the market let's say that fx freedom is telling me that i need to enter my buy stop order and sell stop order five minutes before but i am lazy or i need to get to work i need to go back to my job I'm going to put the buy stop order and the sell stop order one hour before or 30 minutes before the market can get nervous and it's going to fill your buy stop order make sense and then bam 
you have an unnecessarily unnecessary loser okay everybody or you are waiting too much and you know and the, the, the news already happened and you are too late to the party so have pre-planned the buy stop order the sell stop order have pre-planned where is going to be the stop loss the entry of one is the stop of the other have pre-planned the volume the lots and just enter the market five minutes before the news event Here is the question before we finish for today. Can you do this, everybody? Or is it too difficult? Can you do this? Feedback, I want to hear from you. Can you do this? And tomorrow I want to hear from you. How was the news? If you don't have time, everybody, because you are working, you have dollar here, then before our class you have the GBP official bank rate 9 a.m. Brazilian time it's going to be Europe most likely with the time changes I'm not sure but it should be 3 p.m. 4 p.m. Europe time okay this is before our class try to new trade if you want if you like this simple news trading strategy try to try to practice Can you do this? Or is it too difficult, everybody? I don't like it. Not a problem. You don't need to like. Makes sense, everybody? But this is part of your education. Julius, I can do it. Very good. Okay, everybody. Our time is up. See you back tomorrow. Until tomorrow, stay strong and trade for freedom. This is FX Freedom. Signing off.